Today we're working on this Xmark mower, 72 inch deck. Got it off Marketplace for $500 because it had a uh, blown motor, only has 800 hours on it. Pretty clean machine. It had a uh, cooler command that they ran out of oil and destroyed the camshaft and destroyed the engine. So got it pulled out of here. We got a uh, Harbor Freight Predator motor ready to drop back in, 670, 22 horsepower using uh, Performance Machines uh, flywheel adapter and motor mount adapter. They were previously uh, 670 Performance, used some of their parts before. So we'll see how this swap goes. So on these motors, the uh, fuel mixture screws are here and here, and they have these tamper caps in them, I guess for emission reasons. So in order to take them out so you can make it run a little better, Hit it down, hit it in the center. And there's one, and underneath that cap is the fuel mixture screw. Now you can get your motor tuned in and running right. So we got the motor mounted in place. We were not able to use this fancy billet motor plate because the frame rails of the tractor here were interfering where the lines were. So we cut down some angle iron and just welded it to the frame uh, because the shaft on this motor is seven, in seven eighths of an inch lower than the shaft on the old motor. So we just need a little spacer and uh, that did the job. So the one issue we ran into with the tractor is the old motor was fuel injected. So it needed to see 12 volt power to stay running. The new engine is not fuel injected and it needs ground to the coils to kill it. So we don't want to rewire everything. We don't want to lose our safety switches and our safety interlocks. So the solution we came up with is a relay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the relay where we're going to use the input power to trigger the relay and the normally closed position will ground the coils. So normally closed, will ground the coils, and then when, when it gets power from the ignition switch, it'll break contact and the engine will be able to run. So we got the mower all ready to go. A little bit of uh, International Harvester Red on the deck. New seat from Amazon, suspension seat. Got the motor all finalized, the wiring cleaned up. The relay that I had showed you before worked perfect. Um, we got rid of the pulse pump on here and put an electric pump and reason for that is uh, right now with all the uh, Ethanol and the gas e ethanol has a lower boiling point than gasoline So that pulse pump being up on the blocks just like a heat sink and it the gasoline sometimes will boil in it and They'll give you vapor lock issues. So by putting a Electric pump down on the frame and actually even putting a fuel filter that has a return line on it help circulate the gas and let any vapor out. So that really helps with any vapor lock issues. Uh, so it runs great. Fire it up. Safeties, everything work as they should. Here the pump on. So 500 for the mower, 900 for the engine, 300 for the seat, and we'll say another 100 miscellaneous components, and uh, should be able to sell this thing for about $3,500.